I wanted to talk about my tweet I made. I made it a while ago now. About the mango sticky rice with ice cream. Some of you need to go to your local Thai restaurant ASAP and get mango sticky rice. Cause some of you don't seem to know the wonder of mango sticky rice. <laughs> what the heck is it? It's a dessert. It's a delicious dessert from Thailand. Ice cream is optional, but I think ice cream makes like every dessert better. So you might as well put ice cream on it. I think it, my favorite reply, I forget who it was. It was one of you replied, dang, knew I should have meal prepped mango sticky rice this week. That one, you understand. You know where I'm, where I'm getting at. <laughs> you understand that tweet? Yeah, you guys are missing out. I was shocked when I made the tweet and some people were saying that, okay, well, the tweet was purposefully inflammatory. That is true. But not for the reason that I wanted it to be. I thought the inflammatory part would be, <laughs> you know, the, the vegetable mango part. Yeah, yeah, that was designed to elicit a reaction. But I didn't think people would would take issue with the pretense of mango sticky rice in the first place with ice cream. <laughs> I thought that's a given. <laughs> and then I was like, I felt like I was being gaslit when people were like, why would you eat mango with rice? And I was like, wait. <laughs> well, then I was like, is it the ice cream that makes it, that ruins it? But then I was like Googling it. I was like, do people actually eat this? Or is it just me like getting my mango sticky rice to go and then putting a scoop of ice cream on it at home? I was like, is it just me? But I Googled it and it's not just me. It's not. Nara Smith, famed TikToker and mother. <laughs> so she, she made it. So if she did it, then she made mango sticky rice with mango ice cream for her children. So I'm validated. <laughs> if it's good enough for Nara Smith, it's good enough for me. 